right, Algebra 1, Lesson 67. This is on review of equivalent equations and then elimination. Now, I'm just going to review something with you. Like I said, it's a review. So, um, for example, if you see x plus 4, you don't even have to take notes or anything. Just watch for a minute. x plus 4 equals 6. And then let's say x squared minus 4 equals 0. Okay, and that's really what we're trying to do is determine are these equal equations? Okay, so how we're going to do that is we're going to start off by putting um, a 2 where the x is. So, for example, I'm going to put a 2 right there and bring everything else down. 2 plus 4, 6, 6 equals 6. This is a true statement, right? Mm -hmm. Let's put 2 in this one. Squared minus 4 equals 0. 2 times 2, or 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 0 equals equal, 0. This is a true statement. Now, so we would probably say, oh, yeah, these are true, but we didn't try a negative number. Okay? So, for example, if this x were a negative 2 and this x a negative 2, let's see what our answers would be. <clears throat> negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 2 equals 6. False. Over here, negative 2 times negative 2 gives us a 4, minus 4, 0, 0, true. Okay, but they're not equal because they're both not true. So, what we would assume these are the same or these are equal equivalents because with just a positive 2, we got the same true answer. But with negative 2, we got a false and a true. Okay, so these would not be considered equal equivalent or equal equivalent equations because negative 2 didn't work in there. Only positive 2. Now we could have done a positive 3 and a positive 3 and then done a negative 3, negative 3. You're going to get the same um, byproduct. It's going to be true, true on the first time and then false, true on the second time. So these would not be considered equivalent equations. So here's an example of an equivalent equation. x plus y equals 6. 2x plus 2y equals 12. See a hair, sorry. Equals 12. Now, um, they're going to put x is going to be a 4, and y they're saying is a 2. Okay, does 4 plus 2 equals 6? Yes. Six equals 6, yes. Okay, again, x is going to be 4, plus y is going to be a 2. Does that equal 12? 8 plus 4, 12, 12 equals 12. Okay, I'm just going to move on from there. This is basically te teaching um, earlier that that was true and true. Um, it's not really important. You're not going to have lesson practice on it. They just don't want to show you that. Okay, let's move on to the second part of the lesson, which is elimination. Now, this is important, and you're going to have to really take it and use it for different things. So, for example, we are going to get something that looks like this. They're going to give us two equations x plus 2y equals 8, and then the second equation is 5x plus, sorry, minus 2y equals 4. Now, what they're going to try to um, do is to eliminate one of these um, letters. So what they're going to do, and they're saying the best way to do this is let's go on and add this. So since we already have a 2y and a negative 2y, those would eliminate each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? But in order for them to eliminate each other, they had to be added together. So for example, what they're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 here. They're going to take this 5x and this 1x and make it 6x. Now stay with me. Plus, then they're going to take this 2y plus a negative 2y, which gives us 0y's, which is erases it. And 8 plus 4 is 12. Right? Okay. Now, the only reason I can go on and add it like this is because I notice right off that we can get rid of the y by adding them. So if I add these, I can get an x. If I add these, I can get a 12. If I add these, it wipes them out, which is what we're trying to do is come up with something that can be eliminated. Yep. Okay. So now I get 6x equals 12. And we know that x is 2. Okay? Now, you take this 2... And you move it back up at the top on this problem. I'm going to erase this bottom one. Because x is 2. 
Okay, and so on where this x was, I'm going to put a 2. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to get 2 plus 2y equals 8. Got it? Mm -hmm. This 2, I would move across the equals and it would become minus 2 or plus a negative 2. Got rid of that. So now it's 2y equals 6. And then um, since it says 2 times y, I'm going to divide by 2. Since, um, we're gonna, since this is times 2, we're going to divide by 2. That gets rid of that, gets rid of that, and then y equals 3. <clears throat> so the answer to this part thing is x equals 2 and y equals 3. And so you would write it like this. Remember how I told you that's how you would write them as coordinates? Okay, that's for that kind of problem. Okay, but you're also going to encounter some problems that look like this. That don't, you can't automatically notice 2 and then negative 2y. You're going to see something different. For example, it says solve by using the elimination method. That's what this is called. So, A looks like this, 2x minus y equals 3, 13, okay? 3x, this is B, 3x plus 4y equals 3. Now, I'm going to fix this 13, it's a little messed up. Okay, now, I can't quickly look at this and go, okay, I can just eliminate, eliminate that if I just add them. No, because nothing comes up to where I can do that. But, let's say we're going to eliminate, let me put some plus negative right here, okay? Let's say um, I'm going to try to eliminate the y, okay? I'm going to go in and put a 1y. Does that help you to do it like that? Yeah. Okay, now, I want to try to eliminate the y. Well, what I need to do is multiply... Um, this one by 4 because then that will give me a negative 4, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one I can just multiply, keep multiplying by 1 because I want to leave that as 4. Are you staying with me so far? Yes. But if I choose to multiply this by 4, guess what? All of these have to be multiplied by 4, mm -hmm. okay, to give us an equal equation because mm -hmm. that just shows me that this is 4 times as much yep. once I do it. So, I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 4. So, 4 times 2 would be 8, and then we've got my x. Got it? Mm -hmm. Plus, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4y, right? Yeah. And then 4 times 13 is? 52. Thank you. 52. Okay? You with me? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to multiply this by 1, which leaves it just the same. 3x plus 4y equals 3. You with me? Yeah. So, guess what? Now we have a place where we can eliminate the Y. So, when you're hearing we need to do this elimination, solve by using the elimination method, you want to try to eliminate the Y. Unless you look at the X and think, oh, I can do that. That's fine. But that, in all of these problems, they're using Y to eliminate. So, now, let's look at this. 8 plus 3, 11X. Plus, this 4 plus a negative 4 would make 0 y's, so there's no y. And then I'm just going to search and move it out. And then this would become 55, right? Mm -hmm. So then, x is what? 5, because 11 times 5 is 55. So x is 5. Now, now that we have that answer, I'm going to take it and put it in my top problem. 2 times my x is a 5 plus a negative 1y equals 13. And now I'll figure out what y is. Okay, so this is 2 times 5 is 10. I'm just going to bring everything else down. Now, since this says plus 10, I'm going to minus 10. Get rid of that. Okay, so then this is negative 1y equals 13. Take away 10 is 3. Okay, and so now this says negative 1 times y. So I'm going to take, instead of taking times, we're going to divide by negative 1. That equals y equals 3 over negative 1, which ends up being negative 3. Because 3 over 1 is 3, and we've got a negative. So, negative 3. You feel like you understand it? Yep. Okay, so what you would say up here is x is 5 and y is negative 3, and so then therefore it's 5, negative 3 coordinates. Yep. You got it? Yep. Okay. Um, let's do two more in this the way this is being done. Okay, so here we go. You want to take a picture? You think I've got it? If you do, you can pause it. Okay, so let's try another one. Uh, let's try, 
let's do this next one they have, 67.2. Now, really pay attention because this one's going to be a little bit different than the other ones because we're going to multiply by a different number on both of them. And you'll know what I mean by that in just a second. Okay, so this is A and this one's B. Now, again, we want to try to come up with a Y that will um, basically be able to cancel out or eliminate. So, um, 4 and 3. Um, I'm going to go on and say let's make this number 12. Let's have a negative 12 and a positive 12 so that we can delete it. Well, how do I do that? How do I make this into a 12 Y? Well, what do I have to multiply negative 3 by to get a positive 12? I have to multiply by negative 4, right? So we're going to use negative 4 to multiply each of these to get a positive 12 on this one. All right, what about this one? If I want to get a 12, what do I have to multiply by times 3? So on this set, we're going to multiply everything by 3, and that's going to give us a positive 12. Okay? Rewatch that if you didn't get what I was saying until you can get it. All right? So now here we go. We're going to multiply everything by negative 4 because, again, we're trying to get these two numbers to cancel out, have a negative and a positive. Okay, so I'm going to make this a plus negative just to start with. Okay, now, um, you know what I just realized? Um, I'm going to make this a positive 4 because we want this to be a negative 12. So 4 times 3 would be a negative 12. Yep, okay, good. So we're doing positive 4 right here. Once I change that minus to a plus negative, I saw that. Okay. So good, here we go. So we're taking this 4 and multiplying every number by it. So 4 times 2 is 8, and I'm going to bring my x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, y. And 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, done with that one. Now let's take this one and multiply it by 3. 3 times 3 is 9x, plus 3 times 4 is 12y, and 18 times 3 is 54, and it's going to be a negative because I've got a negative 18 times a positive 3. Now, does that give me what I want? Yes. Look right here. I have a negative 12 and a positive 12, and when I add those two together, it cancels them out. Great. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay? So, now I'm just going to add these and these. So, 8 and 9 is 17x equals negative 54 plus positive 20 is going to give us a negative 30. Uh, let's see, 54 and 20. I think that's going to get, yep. So that's going to give me a negative 34. Okay? And so, if I have a negative 34, so what is my x going to be? Well, since this is 17 times x, I'm going to divide by 17. And so x equals 34 divided by 17, which is going to be 2. And then I have a 1 negative, so I've got a negative. Okay? So x equals negative 2. So what I do is I come back up here at the top. If x equals negative 2, okay, stay with me, then now let's perform and figure out what y equals. I'm just going to rewrite this, okay? Now, so now we're going to take x and make it a negative 2. So right up here, I'm going to take 2 times negative 2 plus negative 3y equals 5, okay? Now, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus a negative 3y equals 5. This plus a negative 4, I'm going to move it across the equal sign, and it's going to be a plus a positive 4. Yes, sir. So then that becomes negative 3y equals 9. Got it? And so, negative 3 times y, and so we're going to divide by negative 3. So y equals negative 3. So x equals negative 2, and y equals negative 3. So you would write negative 2, negative 3, and that's your answer.